Hello, welcome back. So today we are looking how to customize our Odoo based on our needs. For that, suppose if we want to add a new field in Odoo, this is the sale order form. So suppose if we want to add a new field uh, here or anywhere in the sale order. So how we can do that? Let's have a look. So I'm going to the Odoo in the file here you can see add-ons like this is the existing add-on so now we want to create a new add-on for our modification for that I am creating a new folder custom add-ons okay so for that new modification we can do in the sale order itself in the sale add-on itself or we can create a new module for that so i'm creating a new module for now for creating a new module we can use the odoo odoo functionality or odoo <coughs> odoo code like scaffold functionality so we can do like this slash udo bin space scaffold the new module name like uh, i'm creating the sale extension or sale extend okay so after scaffold you need to give your module name space the path which we need to add this module so for now we need to add this custom add-ons path so i'm copying this path and i'm putting here if i enter we can check the module is created or not yes the module is created so we can close this and we can run our odoo okay so the next thing we need to code for that for that i am using the pycharm editor here you can see the Odoo here and uh, before that we need to add this path to our corn file also for that we can check where is the corn file here is the configuration file Odoo RC file so in the add-ons path we need to add our new add-ons okay here I am added on my custom add-ons and I'm saving this again I'm running this okay so in the custom add-ons the new module is created here you can see some uh, some folders are automatically created so we can check each this is the controllers this is the demo this is the model the security views etc so what we need now so we can check which model is this this is the sale order we need to check which model for that we can use this debugger here you can see edit view form and in this you can see the model this is the sale dot order model so i am copying that and so if I need to add a new field in the sale.order form, what I need to do? I can use the OOP concept inheritance for adding or modifying the base model. So I am going to the models. Now we can delete this. We don't want this controller. We don't want this demo. Uh, we don't want this security. Okay and in the init we need to remove the controllers so before that i can tell you the manifest so manifest which means the details of the module you can give like name here i can give sale extended and the summary what this module do that is the summary and the description of that then data means the views file 
so currently we don't want this okay so here i am going to the model i don't need this model dot py instead of that i am creating a new python file like sale underscore order extended here you can see the options in the pycharm because why i have i have installed a plugin for that if you go to settings pycharm plugin and here you can see the install plugin udo udo auto completion support if you install this then you will get those features okay so we need to inherit this sale order now we created a sale order extended dot py so here you can see a class is already created and we just need to modify that i am giving sale order class so name if you are creating a new model you can use this name now i am using i need to inherit the model so i am using the inherit and the model name which is sale order description also we can remove okay so we are creating a new field for that here you can give your field name suppose i am giving some reference and uh, we need to we have lots of fields type like if you add if you enter fields dot then you can see here character field many to one reference field selection text etc so now i am giving this as a character field inside that we can give the string how we will show what we will show in the front end that we can give so i am giving as reference okay the field is created now now we need to import this sale order extended file in the init for that we can do from dot import our file name okay so we are imported the file into init and the model is already imported okay now we can check this module is available in the udo for that i am restarting the udo and i am going to the apps i am updating the app list i can enter my module name sale ext okay we can see the module here i am trying to install this module okay it is installed okay but where is our field currently we can't see that field because we have not done anything in our view for that we need to do some modification in the view also for that i again i am checking the debugger what is the view name here you can see the external id like sale dot view order form so this is the view order form and uh, i'm checking in the udo itself like any references there for modifying this view for that i can right click find in files xml okay here you can see some example like all it's already inherited and modified okay this is sale order form okay we can use this code so everything you want to do it's already available in udo you just need to search that's it okay so we need a view file for that here i don't need this and use dot xml 
I am renaming sale underscore order extended okay and now I am pasting the code here here you can see the ID we need to change this ID we can give sale order form extended and the model is sale order I hope now everything is visible ok the model is sale order and the inherit id we give the external id so here you can see the xpath so actually what is xpath xpath means we used to locate some items some fields some buttons or some div or like that we can locate with this xpath so now we can check where we need to add the field suppose i need uh, that field under this so that we can check this field name if the debug mode is on then we can see the field name here now you can see the field name is partner id so i am using that i can give field name is partner underscore id then the position what is the position which position you want to add your new field or button or anything it have inside or before after like that so now i am giving after i am removing this existing code instead of that i need to give my field for that i can write field name equal to my field name reference okay so our view is also done so what we need to do we need to import this file in the manifest for that i am going to the manifest inside data i can give the path views slash sale order extended okay so we are done the view also so next thing we are again restarting the voodoo and i'm going to the apps we need to upgrade those apps okay we have one error sale order does not okay so for using any existing module or you for modifying any existing module you need to give the here you can see in the depends you need to give those module name here which module you want to modify or you want to do customize you need to give the module name here Currently we are modifying the sale order so the module name is sale so in the manifest we can give sale so we don't need this base as actually sale is depends on the base only so we can remove this base again I am restarting I am refreshing Udo. Ok now there is no error. I can go to the apps. So I need to upgrade my apps. Sale extended. Here you can upgrade your app. So if you are adding any new field or if you are uh, modifying anything in the XML side. So you need to upgrade okay so here you can see file not found error sale extended view sale order extended so okay sale order extended dot xml again i am restarting Odoo and trying to upgrade
okay the app is successfully upgraded then i am going to the sale and going to the here you can see our new field reference so if i create a new sale order you can set the reference here anything so this is the way to create a new field in the existing model so we here we are used the inherit method for that here you can see we have created a new python file we have created a class so the class is inherited it's not a new class the class is inherited from the sale order and we are added the new field in the views we are inherited the views also by external id and we are added the new field and we are used the xpath to locate locate the existing view and we are added after that field and in the manifest you can see we have give the views file and in the depends we are added the sale and uh, the name summary description that you can give you this so today i think we have covered the inheritance and we have customized the existing sale order by adding a new field so in the next video um, we can learn how to pass this reference field to any other model like uh, any other related model like if we are in the sale order so if we create a sale order we need to create an invoice also so we can check that how to pass this reference to the invoice so thank you